Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. As France, in our last episode, our continued invasion of Italy seems to be going uh, pretty well. We've taken Naples and Rome. Overall in the war, Italy is not looking too enthusiastic. There's 70% towards capitulation, so we are getting there. Germany is down pretty far as well, 47% towards capitulation. Uh, Berlin in particular has fallen to uh, Denmark, I believe, is currently holding it, so good for them. Uh, so, not looking good for the Axis. Uh, I assume nobody has been invading Japan yet, but that is probably going to have to happen for them to be forced out of the war. And in fact, it might be us who has to invade them. At least we have some uh, land over here that we can launch a naval invasion from, but uh, that's a problem for the future, I suppose. So um, over here, we're probably going to continue advancing southwards. Uh, what we might actually be able to do is... If we take these two ports, we're about to take this one. If we take this one, then we can use this army to maybe advance to the coastline up here and maybe cut off some divisions from supply in the middle there, which should be good for us. We do have our Japanese naval invasion to take care of over here too, which isn't going too well uh, currently. I think what I'm going to do here, let's see. Have you guys just uh, disengaged from combat here and I think what we're going to do is like um, pull back a little bit and let these divisions spread out a bit so we're not trying to attack into eight divisions in an urban area which is not really good for business. So let's see what the best way to go about this is. I think uh, if we have the purple army here, we sort of maintain a perimeter around here. Then we'll spread out the orange army. In fact, let me just remove all orders for me right now. Uh, stop trying to attack in there. I don't think I told you to do that. But we'll let the uh, purple army redistribute itself, though they seem to have gotten their front redrawn. Somewhere where I don't want them to go. Just stay there. And you don't go there, just stay there. Stop doing that. No, they want to go around the whole border while I have this uh, front in place, I guess. Uh, so we'll probably have to delete orders from you as well. They should just stay where they are and keep these guys encircled. Meanwhile, we'll... Pull you guys back over here. You guys can come back here. Alright, naval battle victory. Uh, we're low on oil again as well. We should probably trade for more. Uh, this is chromium. We should not trade for chromium. All right. Bulgaria has capitulated already. Okay, well, fair enough. I'd like you to stop uh, coming here, please. I want them to spread out a bit so that we can have a slightly better time attacking them. All right, we better go check back on what's happening in Italy. So we've completed uh, the advance there, and uh, let's see, for you guys... Hmm, I advanced a little further here than I actually wanted to. I guess that's okay, though. I don't think you're even uh, executing the order that you have drawn there, so let's click this. And we'll see how that goes. Check back there in a while and uh, naval combat, okay. All 
Alright, so we've pulled back a bit here, and I'm hoping that they will spread out a bit so that we can attack fewer than however many divisions they had, but uh, they don't seem to be going for it just yet. I guess they're too smart for me. Alright, well in this case, I guess we'll just... bottle them up in the city and attack them from five sides simultaneously. So if we're going to do this, we may as well uh, just redraw the front lines. Alright, and I think we'll try and get into the port here. And we'll cut off some number of divisions in this area. is not quite as good as I was hoping to get if we had taken both of these ports and then cut off the coastline here. That's okay. We have Engineer Company 3, okay. We can get better entrenchment. Uh, we're working on military police, which incidentally is something I also have to deal with, this uh, resistance to occupation. Let's upgrade signal companies. Uh, yeah, so we do have occupation resistance in, let's see, down here. Alexandria, which I'm probably not going to care about, and it's the rest of the north coastline here. Uh, well, okay, so in the absence of any additional cavalry divisions, I think we'll probably just use some of these infantry divisions. For that, uh, let's t say we'll take about three of these. We'll assign them to a new army. Which we'll change the color of. You guys can garrison here. And I think we'll take some of the infantry divisions from over here. two of these and assign them to, I guess it's this army, which is already ordered to do this. I guess we just don't have enough divisions in there to complete that as it stands. So these guys should make their way over. And once we do have the military police ed brigades researched, we'll be able to upgrade those infantry divisions to use them which should help out. They aren't useless for suppressing resistance as it stands, they're just not as good as cavalry or divisions with MP brigades. Alright, so we have some armies encircled here. Uh, let's try to take this port also. Try to advance in this direction. See if we can cut off some Italian troops there. Isn't looking favorable right now, but we'll see. We'll try and overrun these divisions. Alright, let's check back over here. So 
Some people don't have orders here, is that correct? Let's assign you all to this line. here. Alright, let's see. I think we might want to redistribute some forces here. We don't need both of these armies down here at this point, I think. Uh, what we'll do is... Assign the purple army to the whole front line, and then when they're in position, we'll just retreat the yellow army. Looks like this plan is not going to be too favorable anyway, so we're not giving up too much by just getting rid of this. Alright, we have you in position, or more or less in position. You guys pull back to here, I guess. Alright, so we still have resistance here and here. Which is not so bad. I guess we could assign another infantry division to this army from over here if the current ones aren't quite doing the job. Let me change the color of this so I'm using a consistent color for all of my resistance quelling armies. We have uh, planes in reserve, which is fine. We'll just let them be in reserve for a while. Alright, so let's do this. Attack in here from three sides, which uh, should also be successful. Then attacking into Saigon from five separate directions should allow us to take the city, finally. Or at least let's hope so. Okay, so we should draw an offensive line for you somewhere at least. We'll probably just try to do more or less the same thing, cut off some divisions in this area. Which means we need to take this port. This may be exactly the same as what we were trying to do with the other army, which uh, didn't look too positive, but we'll see how it goes. And I think we'll redeploy this yellow army over to maybe... Corsica to try and take Sardinia. I'm not sure whether they have any troops stationed there or not, but we'll find out, I suppose. Alright, this seems to be favorable. We 
have some pretty decent uh, preparation bonuses already, so I think we'll just go ahead and do this. Alright, can you guys just go across the straight here? Without resistance? It seems so, okay. Let's just have you go ahead and take the whole island, please. combat, alright. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and do this. I don't think they even have any troops over here. back over here. So we have them surrounded in Saigon. I don't think we want to attack with uh, everybody necessarily. Let's choose a few divisions from each of these to send in. See how this looks like it's going to go. Not too well, maybe. Alright, we have heavy fighter focus, uh, which is possibly the last focus that we can get. Yeah, apparently so, so... No more focuses for us, that's fine. Let's just commit more divisions to this and see if that helps. Well, apparently it doesn't. Spain, I guess, wants to send us uh, more expeditionary forces. I'm going to continue to decline this. Alright, so I guess uh, maybe we should disengage and just keep them bottled up in the city. Not really sure what else to do. We apparently can't entice them to spread out any further to make things easier for us, so we'll just keep them contained for the time being. I guess we don't have any air support over there, so that could help out, potentially, if we brought some planes over, which we do have some in reserve. Let's we'll see how things are going over here. Seems okay. And uh, no... Offensives happening on our northern border there. We are making some progress down here. In fact, it seems to be going a lot better now. We have taken Sardinia.
Palermo has become the new Italian capital, apparently. So, I guess uh, to take Sicily, we're going to have to probably go across the strait, uh, unless we want to prepare a whole new naval invasion, which is probably not worth doing. I imagine we can take it uh, by crossing the strait. So, once we take one of these two counties, we should have the divisions in here cut off from supply. Which looks like we're going to do pretty soon. Yeah, we have uh, resistance to occupations in Italy. So these guys are cut off now, which is good. Uh, let's see, we may be able to spread you out a bit more to suppress resistance elsewhere. Let's just take a look at the map mode. Yeah, down here, okay. We'll see how they get along doing that. Our name is much bigger on the map now, which is always good. Uh, we don't have air superiority in Italy. Which I guess we should do something about. Uh, we don't apparently have air superiority in southern France. I think we just moved all of our fighters away, but our enemy doesn't have air superiority either, so I think that's fine. Uh, well, since we do have planes in reserve, I think we'll just deploy a new fighter wing. Uh, we may as well do it down here, I suppose. So... We have 350 of the Mark II fighters, or Mark I fighters. So, let's see. say 150 of these. See how we get along with that. That's enough for air superiority apparently. We have plenty of support planes in reserve as well, so I guess we'll deploy a close air support wing as well. We actually have a lot of planes in reserve, which is good. I'll say 150 of these as well. So we can actually have some air support when we Try to take Sicily. And I guess we should probably deploy some of these planes over here as well. Maybe they could actually help us take Saigon. These guys are taking attrition, apparently, which is good news for us. Uh, we do have air bases over here, I assume. We don't have great capacity, but at least they have something. Uh, we'll take 100 fighters over here. And 
100 close air supports. Okay, it's going to take them a while to deploy. I suppose it is to be expected. Alright, well apparently we have nobody down here. Let's just send... motorized division over there. And I guess we'll probably just try to overrun these armies now. Oh, there are troops down here. Never mind. I uh, guess we'll send few of these divisions to help out. These guys should be cut off from supply as well though, so it's probably not a big deal. In fact, I think they're already overrun. Call to arms request from the Soviet Union? Well, again, we cannot accept this, so sorry. down to a single province in here, which we should be able to overrun immediately. Okay, well this basically just leaves the southern tip of the peninsula here and Sicily for us to take, and then we might consider moving northwards or even starting to advance into Germany. Um, who knows, how are we doing in the war overall against Italy? 87% towards capitulation, so getting pretty close. Germany's 55%. Japan still feels fine about the whole deal, though. Okay, well, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll leave it here for now and hopefully complete our invasion of the Italian peninsula in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and join me again then.